Namaste! Grand Rising Earth Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Make your way! Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into the next 48 hours. Mercury in Aquarius sextiles, Jupiter in Aries. And we love a sextile, why? It's about what energy flowing. It's inclined to what? Produce, produce results, darling dears. This energy enables you to comprehend matters differently. A different perspective will give you insight into confusing situations and relationships. Jupiter and Mercury are opposites, but together they can rapidly offer you a lot of information and stability. The secret lies in figuring out all the details before making any major decisions. A positive outlook can lead, lead to more opportunities opening up for you going forward over the next 48 hours. Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in and get your runestone. Thank you. Big cat. Oh, hey, love it. You got the blank rune. Make a wish, darling dear. Oh, wish. Something that you've been working towards, darling dear, is about to open up for you. The universe says yes. It doesn't come out often, but when it does, you wrap yourself around it like it's the Goodyear life balloon, darling dear, and ride with it. I told you the energy is flowing. Something major is opening up for you, darling dears. Love it. Let's bring a domino into it. Why not, eh? We're getting fancy today, guys. have the blank and the four darling dears the blank is represented by um fall energy uranus as well as air energy it speaks about what possibly a new partner or a new person coming towards you mm -hmm. it also speaks about a new beginning darling dear you wasn't built to fit in the box it speaks about you stepping outside um your comfort zone something may just come in towards you darling dears love it i don't hate it it also speaks about what continuing to take a leap of faith I'm hearing something about a new lover. For some, it's a new lover, but there will definitely be an age difference. Mm -hmm. The blank four, darling dears, lean in, big cat. It speaks about what? Money. Skrilla.com is on the horizon for you. Absolutely love it. Don't hate it. The energy of the four, darling dears. The numerology of the four is about what limitations you've been you've re, you've been experiencing some limitations leading up to this point, darling dear. It also speaks about the discipline, which is bringing a, a, a firm foundation for you. Mm -hmm. The number four also represents what stability, something that you've been working towards, building a new structure. You've manifested it. I told you things are working out for you, Earth signs. You're going to be having a fabulous, gorgeous, lovely time possibly even the time of your life over the next 48 hours. Mm -hmm. The energy of the four in numerology is also represented by Big Cat Leo as well as Aquarius energy. The emperor is Mars as well as Aries energy. Mars is the first planet, so it speaks about your independence. And again, a new beginning. Why? Because you're innovative, darling dear. And you're a big cat. Fist bump. Love it. And the blank rune. You're about to get a lovely surprise, a surprise from the universe, no less. Right, let's dive in and get your ancestral messages. Gonna use, um, I was gonna use my favorite deck, the Witch's Oracle Wisdom. Shall I use it? I'll try, no, 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 let me try something else today. I believe this is the gods and goddesses. If it's not, please put the right name in the, um, the description box below, darling. Yes. Please, untanks. ancestral message from my big cat earth signs for the next 48 hours thank you brave spirit artemis darling dear it speaks about what 
favor, always favoring the brave darling, dear. This also speaks, she's holding a bow. It reminds me of what Sagittarius, the only weaponized zodiac sign, darling, dear. Speaking about Sagittarius, it's about what? Long journeys, possibly foreign places, or maybe it's a foreign person. Somebody who's not of the same the same nationality to, as you coming towards you. It speaks about legal, the law. Somebody's what? Going into the law field or going to have to what? It's the culmination of a legal case. Mm -hmm. But everything is appearing to be going in your favor. It also speaks about higher education. Somebody's wondering if they should or they shouldn't. Do it, darling, dear. Knowledge is power and power is knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's about your dreams, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Because um, the ninth house is a... The key word for the ninth house is I aspire. And it also speaks about a vision. Somebody held a vision, darling, dear. This is your hard work paying off. Continue to hold that pos positive vi vision. What's wrong with my talking? Can't talk. Remember, big cat, conceive, believe, and achieve. Anything you want always starts in the mind. Let's get it from the base of the deck. We have what? A sacred marriage. I told you for some, you'll be going into union. This is a lot of orange. This is the sacral chakra. It's about your self-worth. Some of you held out or held on until until what? Your true love. Your true love's first kiss finds you, darling dear. Because before in the past, for some, like me, our pickers were off. It also speaks um the sacral chakra also represents Tuesday, darling dear. So Tuesday is extremely significant for some. It's represented by um Venus energy and Venus rules Taurus as well as Libra. Mm -hmm. It's all about, it's about your empathy, darling dear. But it's also about your what emotions as well as relationships. A new relationship and the relationship does not necessarily have to be what romantical. It can also be platonic. Mm. I couldn't help but I had to cheat and have a look, darling dear. Spiritual transformation. Big cat, whatever you've been doing over the past, I'm, I'm here in several months. I'm, the number four is here. It could be four weeks. It could be four days, four weeks, four months, or four years. It was a, it was a, a spiritual. You've been held to a spiritual fire. It's the rebirth of you, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't hate it. A new beginning for you, darling, dear. One which is truly deserved. But it speaks about your due diligence, the hard work. That you've been doing is paying off over the next 48 hours let me just cut this fan off because it can make the lace front skull doggers every minute this hair flying into my mouth anyway let's press on darling dear right we can give it a good shifty the past energy for the big cat earth signs what was the past energy thank you yeah ten of cups somebody was working towards their emotional fulfillment filling up their own tenth cup darling dear mm -hmm. the ten of cups in the upright i might add it also speaks about you feeling what in a more in alignment because as you, you have to remember you have to raise your vibration from the inside out and when you're working towards what you truly deserve darling dear you attract what you what you are putting out there. It also speaks about, for some, it's the loyalty of the community. Maybe it's the meeting of new friends or new friendships. It's also what? The breaking of generational curses. Mm -hmm. You had to what? Move away from a community of people in order to find your 10th cup in the past. Love it. What's currently around the big cat earth signs? Thank you. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is highly intelligent. It's about doing your due diligence. The Queen of Swords also represents um, somebody who's gone through a divorce or a breakup of a major relationship or situation, darling dear. The Cups is about the emotions, the relationships that was in your life. You, somebody carved out a lot of old, old ways and old people, old faces. You don't go around those places. You no longer sit at tables where disrespect is being served. Queen of Swords, in the upright, I might add, it, she also, it could be she or he because gender is fluid in tarot. It speaks about your intellect, darling, as well as your independence. Mm -hmm. 
And it also is what? Giving you a new perspective, one that you could actually be proud of. You're feeling proud about what you've achieved, all India. It could, as I said, you filled up that 10th cup by yourself when you released yourself from situations that no longer served you. Love it. What does the big cat earth signs need to pay attention to at this moment in time? Because the air energy is about you being highly intelligent, but you was elusive. You removed yourself from a situation. Mm. Pay attention to Dal India. Clout chasers. Because this is by the on oh gosh, what's the matter with me speaking? In the upright, Dal India. The two of Pentacles speaks about solo dolo, like the boys or girls on the pole, being able to to what balance out your finances and your whole situation, your responsibilities in the reverse. I'm seeing a, some kind of a money issue going on at the moment let me get another deck to clarify it okay we need to clarify that right because the cards may be taking the p with us what's this about the money issues yeah strength card darling india and it also speaks about being strong some of you are in, in a position where you would rather what eat glass than ask anybody to give you a, a penny less net, let alone a pound darling india temperance energy you've been going for a difficult time with your finances but however look i told you skrilla.com is on its way it's been slow in coming darling dear but you have to remember especially if you're building a business a new home a job whatever it takes time for you to what get into your gain your gusto darling dear get your foot to get on the right foot and to gain momentum this is also what the approaching of a loyal partner for some Mm -hmm. It also speaks about as you as an earth sign, darling dear, you've done the due diligence, you've paid attention, right, and kept your eyes focused on the future, darling dear. This is about the hard work. Whatever you ain't got right now, big cap, you're about to be blessed with it. We we already discussed this. The next 48 hours, you're gonna see a major change in everything in your life. You've got the blank room, darling dear. Oh, I love it. You're manifesting stability and security. Mm-hmm. Attitudes of other people. Wow, a whole throuple. Oh gosh, somebody's heartbroken, darling dear. King of Swords. Somebody who should have been a partnership to you, darling dear, but that, that situation is over. Dead, dead in the water. Somebody who's spying and lying, darling dear. They're heartbroken over. Look, love situation. A love situation that is now over, finished. A partnership, it could also speak about a contract. The King of Swords was, can also, for some, it represents HR. You had to take a situation to HR and you've been waiting for the big payday, but well, it's coming, darling, India. Mm -hmm. Somebody who was emotionally cold, darling, India, economical with the truth, right next to the Three of Swords. This is someone that betrayed you. Whoever betrayed you, darling, India, they're living in regret. Regret over a contract that has been rescinded. Don't regret. What did I just say? And look, Hierophant on its face, that's the ending of a marriage. And if it's an organization, they're going to have to pay you blood, bruh, or see stream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody's very disappointed that you ended a contract. They thought you'd stay there and bleed out. No, nah, babe. You decided to what? Chew off your own proverbial foot and get away. Mm hmm. Love it. What's the best next step for the big cat earth sign to take? The best next step. Thank you. Listen, continue with your healing. Don't allow um, ruminating thoughts to, for the past to what? Perpetrate your cranium. This is about you pouring away what no longer serves you. Star card, Aquarius energy. Aquarius is the 11th house, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The 11th house of what? Groups and friends. Maybe you have to pour away a lot of groups and friends. But Aquarius is also what? The house of technology. Whomsoever you let go of, darling dear, they're still watching you. They're going to watch you walk into fame. It also speaks about, in some cases, it will be a benefactor or benefactors coming towards you, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This is about keep hope alive, darling dear. The best action for you to take is to continue on this healing journey. Whatever you've been doing, darling dear, remember you are the brightest star. Base of the deck. What did I say to Major Arcana? A sudden change is coming towards you. 
The best action for you to take in this situation, tower moment, is to what? Ride the wave. We already heard it from the planetary energies, darling dear. This lovely sextile between Mercury in Aquarius and Jupiter in Aries, darling dear. Jupiter's about expansion. Mercury's about what? Things come in quickly, darling dear. It's fast movement. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. What you visualize, darling dear. And it also speaks about what? Your best next steps for some of you is going to be what? Taking a short journey. It may be in pronto, but the journey is going to be to your benefit. It's all coming up lovely. Mm-hmm. Any obstacles currently on the Big Cat Earth Signs path over the next 48 hours? Oh gosh, someone's crying into their fist. Luke 62, 22. Why are they crying? Because you're single and independent, right? Drama free. Somebody's very sad. This looks like a whole hater. Well, guess what? If you ain't got a hater, you ain't winning. When you've got haters, it shows that you're winning, darling dear. Congratulations. What's a hater? Right? They, they hate, they're having anger towards everyone. Everyone reaching success. Yeah, an emperor. Somebody's crying because they don't want you to go into a new union. Good God. They're going to try to be an obstacle in your past. Remember, nine of pentacles, yeah? Drama free. You're not having it. And again, it's about stability and security, which, you're pri uh, which you are providing for yourself. And it could also represent somebody coming towards you. This is a huge future husband material, darling, India. Maybe this will be the obstacle in your path. Shall I or shan't I? But whoever you left out in the cold, darling, dear, there was a lying liar, knight of cups on its face. Mm -hmm. And it's also someone who you see them. You've got the real eyes that recognize the real lies. They'll never get another chance with you. Oh, no. How now, brown cow? Look, fell right on it. The stressation of it all. They're down and depressed, darling, dears. Good God. Mm -hmm. Outrageous for sure, darling, dear. Someone is really upset. And two nines on the tableau, darling, dear, speaks about minor gains. This person was petty bogetty, darling, dear. But there's nothing like what? Time. My mother always said time is like a piece of rope. Look, they've got the karmas on them. Whoever that person or people are, darling, dear, the haters, they're crying, darling, dear, because they can't believe how you actually was able to overcome. Fill up your own cup. Come out as what? Kicking like Jackie Chan, full of intelligence, darling, dear. Love it. Speaking the truth and owning your truth in a situation, you drop down those those challenges and burdens. Divine tells is telling you not to worry, darling dear, because everything is being handled. Continue to focus on what you want to manifest, right? With this blank room that you've been given, this new lease on life. Final outcome for my earth signs for the next 48 hours. Final outcome. For the earth signs. Mm. Somebody's lying about this stable foundation that you've made up for yourself. Somebody who's in their cups, darling. Yeah. Someone who didn't want a situation to end with you. Someone who was disloyal to the core. And they haven't got a, a pot to pee in or a window to put it out of. Yeah. A liar, a pretender, a clout chaser. Somebody who possibly used you in a situation to get where they are. Nine of cups, that's the truth, darling. Yeah. Final outcome is what? The watchers, the mouth breathers are going to be watching you and they're going to be critiquing you, darling dear. Ace of swords on its face. But remember, nobody doing better than you is going to be criticizing you, darling dear. Remember I told you that. These are people that you left behind when you left, filled up your 10th cup. This is a lot of drugs, a lot of uh, alcohol, alcohol, all these kind of things, darling dear. And it also speaks about going through difficulties, the rinse and repeat of it. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, but you are secure, darling dear. You're about to secure a bag, a home, a car, career. But it also speaks about your mental health being on the up and up. Listen, real eyes recognize real lies. Let's get one final card in. I'm gonna go with the wellness deck. I haven't used that in a while. Well, actually, since yesterday. Yeah. Final messages for my earth signs for the next 48 hours. Yeah, wedding rings, a union, listen, a soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. I told you, Cupid's arrows is about to strike you, darling, dear. Don't let it get you in the back. You know how I feel about Cupid. Mm -hmm. Whoever thought you was not enough, darling, dear, 
Some of these fools, you was, was, they made you feel frustrated in a relationship. This person was self-sabotaging. They've got the ego issues and they're jealous, right? They made you feel like you was not enough. But this new union that's coming towards you, darling dear, eternal love. Leave the back front neck tabbers where they are, base of the deck. As you continue to what? Go towards what you truly deserve. This could be a holiday. It also speaks about happiness and expansion of your joy. Mm -hmm. A time when you you and someone, you'll both be enjoying each other. And I told you, some of you will be traveling. It could be on a short vacay or even just traveling to or from work or maybe even to the corner shop. Whatever it is, darling dear. Love is on the way for some. I like you. You like me. We like each other. Love it. <laughs> Leave the back front neck tabbers where they are. On that note, I dropped me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Or smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. <laughs>